Hi and welcome to this screencast where we're going to implement token-based authentication in our ng2 play repo. So this is our app for a moment. Uh, you have a home page that you can add to do's to, uh, but we're not persisting them. And we have a route to an about page that takes in a parameter. So what we're going to add here is a login and logout button. And we're going to implement uh, this using auth0. Uh, so Auth0 is an awesome service that provides authentication and authorization as a service. I've done a Pluralsight course on this for Angular 1 and using ASP.NET Web API as the backend. And I'm going to link to the course in the description. But you can just come here and register for a free account and then open your dashboard and create an app. So right now I don't have any apps in this account. So I'm going to come down to Connections and Database and create my first DB uh, connection. I'm going to name it ng2play as our repo. And we're going to be satisfied with this. We're not going to add any users to it. We're going to use their register form uh, to do that. So now we can come to apps and APIs and create our first app. We're going to, we're going to name our app ng2play as well. So now we can follow a couple of documentations here. They're really good quick starch guides, but I know what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna just switch over to the settings tab to access my settings here. And we're gonna set our callback URL to localhost 3000 since we are st still developing here. And we're gonna save this setting. Now to implement login and sign up, we're going to leverage something called the lock module in Auth0, which will provide a, a nice looking uh, responsive login dialog. Oops, I'm going to need to come to the homepage for that. Uh, that we can just plug in into our application. And here we can see how it looks. So it's custom. It, you can customize it as well, but we're not going to do that now. So in this first part, we're just going to do the implement. Uh, just going to implement the login and sign out and and sign up and stuff like that in the client. And for part two, we're going to hook it up with a backend. So we can see I'm running Gulp here and serving the application, and we're going to need to install. A library called Angular 2 JVT that Auth0 are developing and they are doing it on GitHub so it's open source and let's switch over to Visual Studio Code and start making the changes so first of all I'm gonna refactor this a bit so it doesn't we're gonna we're gonna let system.js load all our dependencies we're not gonna need to include them like this uh, also, let's not create a package for app. Let's make it a bit more cleaner by just simply saying that the sure the default JS extensions should be true, which means simply .js. And we're going to map a couple of libraries here. So we can see on the node modules, we have Angular 2 JVT here as well now. So we're going to map angular 2 jvt to where it's located but we're also going to need to map angular 2 itself now and rxjs Let's save that if we switch over to a browser we can see that in index.html that we are serving our new file and we are loading the application correctly in app.html let's add a nav to write with two links login and logout And in app.ts, we're going to need to import token not expired and JVT helper. Let's start by declaring login.html, which will simply return if token is not expired. Let's create login and logout, login and logout as well. And in our index.html, let's include a script element to the lock module. And we don't have the typings for off zero lock, so we're gonna need to declare what declare off zero lock at the top. Now we can instantiate lock. That's a new instance of off zero lock, which will take in our client ID 
and our domain, which we'll get from the dashboard. Let's also declare a JVT helper, which we'll use to uh, decode the token. In login, we can show the lock, mo lock module using the show method. We have a couple of options here. We're going to use the simplest one that returns a profile and an ID token. And if something goes wrong, we're going to throw the error. Otherwise, we're going to store the profile and ID token in local storage. Let's also log the ID token and if it's expired. And trigger a refresh of logged in. By doing so, we reevaluate these two links in the navbar to refresh their visibility. In logout, we simply want to clear our local storage. And once again, we're going to want to trigger refresh of the, of the menu items. Before this works, we're going to need to come to the dashboard and tell it that ng2play is using this database connection. If we switch back to our browser now and try to log in, we get the login dialog and we can sign up. Let's sign up with my Gmail account so we get my avatar as well. And press next and we are logged in and we can see here that we are logging to the console our token but we can notice here that the login uh, menu item is still says login when it should be logged out the reason for that is that we can't access this in a callback we're going to declare self in the outer scope and then use self.logged in in logout everything is cool because we don't have a callback and now if we log out and log in again we can see that the menu item refreshes. All right, so now let's implement a profile page that's a protected page. We're gonna create a new folder for our component and create a new file, profile.ts, and do all the boilerplate stuff. We're gonna import component and view and create a components annotation along with a view annotation with a template inline and create our class. We're also gonna need to import it into app.ts and create a route to a profile. And the last thing we're going to do, we're going to add a link to it in the navbar. We only want to show it if we are logged in. We're going to name the link profile. So let's put in some text here. Hello from profile. And log in and it says to do now but that's wrong but we can activate the profile but the problem is when you log out we can still access the profile by entering the URL and uh, we really don't want that behavior since this should be a protected page let's first fix that typo and then in profile TS import import can activate from angular to router and token not expired from angular to JVT. Now we can use the can activate annotation and simply call token not expired. Switch to the browser, we can see that we're not getting the text from the profile component since it's not activated. But when we log in, we get the text hello from profile. And when we log out, we can't access the profile once again. All right, so let's add some valuable information here to our account page. Let's print out the user's name and their profile picture. So we're going to get the profile from the local storage and log it to the console as well for debugging purposes. And then just say hello, profile name, which will be our email, and then put our image into an image element. So when you sign in now and get to the profile page, we can see it says hello Anatophic and my profile picture. So this was first part of two. In the second, we're gonna implement a backend and fetch some data from the backend. I haven't decided on what technology to use, but I'm thinking perhaps an Express.js node application or an ASP.NET 5 web API application. But that's all for now, so until next time, have a nice day.